G'day folks. So I knew today I've got you up on the roof of the house just to show you one of the bushfire prevention strategies we've got. We've got uh, we're just coming into uh, our bushfire season up here, middle of August, probably through till the end of November when the rains usually come. Um, we're in the subtropics here, but we get fairly dry um, winters. Uh, it's been pretty dry this winter, I haven't had much rain, so the grass and scrubs dried out a bit. I'm um, under no illusions this would uh, prevent the house burning down if a major fire front came through. But it's more as more if uh, we came under ember attack from a fire that passed close by. Um, okay, I'll just uh, swivel around and show you. It's the sprinkler system we've got up here. Uh, it's one of the sprinklers. A wobble T. Um, clever drop, I think they call this one. It's on a. It just fastens. Uh, the roof or one of the roof screws on the ridge cap there. Um, it works on a ratchet so you can just turn it to an upright position. And I've got um, four along here in series. You can use them in series. They're going to plug in both, both ends to the end there. And they run off the tank. You can probably see it at the back there. An old galvanised thousand gallon tank up there. <coughs> And I pump water from the dam up to there. There's the dam, you can see the difference. Probably about three quarters of an acre of that dam. Never run out of water down there. So I just use a um, Davy with a five and a half horse, pump the water up to the top there, and then just run it back down through there. Now what I do, <coughs> once if there's no, because uh, we're on well, we're on rainwater tanks here, so um, I don't want to miss out on any rain. But it looks like we're going for a dry period and there's a chance of bushfires I'll, I'll, I'll put these bungs there's one of them there into all the down pipes um, work quite well I, I, um, I um, got them online cheap as chips um, so I'm half a dozen around here you can't use cloth or, or tennis balls just don't work so you know they're just a bit uh, pretty neatly in there and I'll just leave them in there. The idea is we fill the gutters up. Um, because if you come under an ember tank, there's any leaves in your gutter, or even if it's really windy, it can blow up underneath the tin and inside your roof. Uh, I've seen plenty of cases in the bushfires over the years around, not this particular area, but I've seen uh, people standing around watching their, watching their houses burn down after the fire front's gone through because they're. Uh, the, the gutters have caught fire and the roof, the fire's gone inside the roof. So that's what it's prevent. So once you've got the gutters full of water, I'd keep them running anyway, but um, I'll take you down and uh, show you the setup and show you how they work. Well, I run the uh, sprinklers off this little electric pump here. Um, of course, if the power goes out, which is, well could do as a bushfire in the area, I've got a little um, Yamaha generator in there which would probably run it for a couple of hours, which would be enough time to run that tank up there dry. And uh, we'll just, um, we'll switch her on and we'll show you how it all goes. There you go, that's the sprinklers in action. That puts out a fair bit of water. It doesn't take long for the gutters to fill up. Um, plus it works a bit of the shrubbery around the, around the place as well. So, I'll just take it in and show you what else we uh, we use. Also got a fire hose here, which is long enough to get me up from the dam. And I can run it around both sides of the house. I usually, we're going for a dry period or the fire's around, I'll, I'll run it out and just leave it out so I'm not mucking around in the middle of the night, you know. So uh, at least I can wet everything down. At least I feel like I'm, I'm doing something. There you go.